and just so everything lights up at the bottom. We'll delete it after I talk about the bar at the bottom. Um, the first icon down here on the left is the group icon. Then we have the ungroup icon. The align left vertical, align centers vertical, align right vertical, align top horizontal, align centers horizontal, align bottom horizontal, align centers. And then we jump over here to the mer can't talk. Mirror merge horizontal, mirror merge vertical, mirror merge horizontal and vertical. We have the wreath tool and then the kaleidoscope tool is over here. Um, the only way that the kaleidoscope tool is going to light up is if you have an even number here in your selection. If you have an odd number, it's not available. So now I'm going to go get rid of this stuff over here. Uh, control A to select everything on my screen and I'm pressing the delete key. Just so you know where I'm going and what I'm doing on screen, if I left click with my mouse, you should see a red circle around the pointer. If I right click with the mouse, you should see a blue circle. Let's go ahead and set up the screen. Let's turn the grid on, so just click on that. And then we want to select a hoop. Um, go ahead and pick whatever the biggest hoop is that you can use on your machine other than the mega hoop. And in my case, that is the oval hoop. So use the pull down menu to get to it. Click on it. Click on display hoops and say OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is, if it's not already set up, choose... Let's go back and do that over. Click on Outline, and then choose Single. The tool we're going to use is the Circle Oval tool. Click on that, and then you're going to click in the center of your hoop, drag it out as big as you want it, pretty much big enough to fill your hoop. Click on that outside edge, and then down at the bottom left of the screen, you'll see a message that says, Press Enter for Circle, or Enter Oval Point. We want a circle, so go ahead and press Enter on the keyboard. Now this circle is really just a guideline. You can either stitch it out or not when you go to make your clock. I probably wouldn't, but that's up to you. The next thing we're going to do is make a circle for the center of our clock so that we can cut it out and put the hands through. If I were doing this just for me, I'd probably go ahead and do it on the center, but I want you to really be able to see what the alignment tools do. So just make a small circle pretty much anywhere on your screen. Press Enter to finish the circle. Now we're going to align it. So click on the Select Object Toolbar, and that tool, that's going to select the last object you digitized. And the first object you select is the one that's going to be aligned. And the last object you select, and it can be in a sequence or it can be just the second object, is the one you're aligning to. So hold down your Control key and click on that outside circle. Now go down and click on the Align Centers icon and watch. And it's aligned up perfectly. Now I'm going to make little dots for each of the hours on the clock. Again, we're going to use our circle tool, but this time I want to fill it. So click on Fill, and if you did that, click Undo. Either press Escape on your keyboard that's not working, so click off of the circle. Now go down and click on Fill. And it's up to you, Step or st Satin. I'm going to use Satin. And we're going to make a small circle. And press Enter. OK. Let's go ahead and align that with that center circle. So if we use the select object and hold down control and click on that center circle, now click on the align centers vertical. And if it wasn't already lined up perfectly vertical, it is now. The next thing we're going to do is use our wreath tool. 
So click on that and there's 12 hours on the clock. So make it 12. You can either type it in or you can use these buttons to go up and down. Oopsie. Well, don't do that. Escape. It grouped that when we centered it. So un... No, it didn't. 